All right, well, this, ah. is, this is a, uh, a State of the Union <laughs> video That's podcast to work. For, for Fade the Public right now because we've hit, a, we've hit a dull spot in our content. The fantasy season has come to an end, but we're still putting out content. Has not been our best over the last month. Mm-hmm. If you listen to, um, if you listen to the Why You Yelling podcast last Sunday, when I, I don't know when this. Yeah, it would be a five days ago as of Friday. As of Friday, was it this episode or the last episode? It was this episode. Okay. Yeah, most recent one, I think. Yeah. So basically, I kind of just aired out on Snacks and Animal for about fifteen to twenty minutes about uh, I don't know. I was just in a general bad mood. And I was pissed off about what we were doing with Fade the Public. So we thought we should, you know, I guess have this not not it's not necessarily a battle, but no. we want to obviously open no, up and it's a, it's a it's more of a just a talk. It's something that we probably should have done, and it's a, it's throughout. something we all very much care about that we want to make right. And the last month has just been a drag, like a legit drag. You know, the COVID issue, the snow, all that shit. But it's just the a heart and head has not been in it. So I, we figure uh, it's not festivus, but we're gonna air out our grievances. Thanks. You're welcome. For what? I started it. Steve is just kind of here to... You needed it. To you mediate, I guess. Yeah. I don't really know. We needed it. We needed it. Well, it's I, always good to have an outside an outside eye on it. Right, because I had my views that I aired out, and it was obviously towards the people that are not me in Fade the Public, so you guys have yours. And There's Steve only will, two others. Steve will be an objective Either. point of view person here. Ear, even ears, though he's better eyes. inside with me more often than not. Mm, I don't know about that. Order! I mean, I'll, I'll just... Start this off. Let's go. I wrote down like some notes because I don't want to miss anything. But like my number mm-hmm. one thing, snacks. I've talked about this before. Our number one thing is the commute for all this. Like we're coming in to the city every week, paying tolls, not paying parking anymore, but we were, and all that stuff adds up and it's draining. So like coming in, like you're sitting here, we get here, you know, we do the thing, and then we leave, and then you're still here. Like when you were coming to Emerson when we were in the dungeon. It was like, you know, we didn't care because you come and then like he was five minutes away. So like the commute is like just, it's being us out. off the train. It's wearing us out. Like we were driving home at five o'clock and it's like sitting in traffic for an hour. Fair. Uh, my question is, why is it, why is it worse for you guys than it was for me? And I, I did it for a full year and you guys haven't even done it for a full year. So here's why. You came to my house, paid for parking for free. You just parked in front of my driver. You walk in and then that was it. Also, you lived in Emerson and then you decided to move away. So like, listen, you're allowed to do that, that's on you. But like, you moved away from where we were filming and then you had to come back to do it, which also, this is your channel. Yeah. So like, yeah, we want to work and do stuff, but like, you got to be the bulk of it, right? Like, we're coming in doing the same thing, you know, going to the city and not getting any, anything out of it really. Like, you do all this work and then you see something in return. So you feel like you're not getting anything out of this? It's costing us. Is that where problem? Okay, we're well, like spending money to come and do this. Sure. Okay. If if money is the issue in terms of like the tolls and the parking and shit, I guess I didn't really like think about that being an issue. But if I, I'll I'll expense that. So yeah, that's like this is a, a, one of our things. I think like we were saying how we probably should have talked about all these things beforehand. Right. And that's that's that is on us because I I figured you would say what was the difference between you coming in and whatnot, but like I almost said perfectly. But like from our point too is like. It's been, this is the second year, two full years, and we haven't, we haven't asked for anything. So like, we don't want to ask, like, hey, can you pay like our tolls? Can you pay our parking? We just kind of like want you to be like, hey, like, appreciate you guys coming in. Here's uh, 20 bucks for the parking. Yeah, I, w- I would gladly. You know, like, so like that's no something that we knew wouldn't be like a big deal, but just something that we feel like you probably just not even like thinking about. Yeah, because that's fair. You, you know, you're doing your own thing. So I get that. Yeah. Um, I also like, it's, I wouldn't have thought of it either, to be honest. Like, if we were in different roles and you guys were coming, I wouldn't even think of driving over the bridge or getting up at seven in the morning, moving the car and stuff like that. So it's, I think that's, it is on us for not kind of bringing that up in March when we, like, was it March when we started coming in? Yeah, because right around, uh, a little after COVID, we did like the first COVID, month. Because yeah, he doing the sleepovers and he just moved in like right as uh, lockdown started. Yeah, so it was probably a month after that. So it was, yeah, yeah. It was probably so like, it's like April, 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 April mid April, something like that. But it, regardless, like that's something we could we could have said too. But it is like that's fair too. And on like a personal level, I think that like I don't know, like if I was in, if I was in your shoes, I would have a lot more. And this is not like saying you have to obviously, but I would have a lot more like excitement 
for doing this. Like, I like the city on a personal level way more than I guess you guys do. Yeah, well, right? yeah, like, we're not city guys. Yeah, like, if I were coming in here, I'd be like, this is awesome. Like, I get to come in once a week and, like, yeah. do this shit, and it's, you know, it's, like, a, a good time. I'm not saying you guys don't have a good time, but, like... Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's not what we're saying at all. That, no, that, it's that's more of, least, like... Once we're here, we're here. Becoming, that's like, great. We love doing it, but it becomes, like, almost like a chore when you don't see anything from it. Like, we do all this and do all this, and then we're just, like, spending money on tolls and parking, and then... We don't get anything in return other than like you know the kind words and like the, the content we put out people like it which is nice but like like you do all this and you get something in return so like you feel like you know it's not a big deal to grind but when we grind we get nothing it's like i get that but that's also feels, that's also like what starting in the entertainment business is like people don't yeah. people people do this for five years before they see any return from it okay and i'm giving you a few things on on the value prop here's the thing like obviously you're getting to build your own personal brand yeah. but what you don't understand is like the money that I paid to Scott strictly for editing our shows has been upwards of almost uh, probably between like 15 to 20 K over the last two years. That's gone almost strictly to fade the public. Yeah. Like I obviously could have put that money towards editing other shit and editing other projects, giving it to you guys, but I'm trying to do what's best long term, obviously for the good. company and the business. Like I, I, it's not that I don't appreciate you guys and want to pay you guys. And like, I, you know, we could obviously have that conversation, but until we're seeing money return from what we're doing, like we're obviously way more of a branding play. Yeah. Well, though, see, our main thing is we're not looking for like $30,000 salaries. We don't want that. I get that. We're not looking for, we know you can't do that right now. We're not stupid. We just want like a, a like, we, I can't spend money to do this anymore. Is my I, get, thing. I get that. That's all it is. It's like, listen, I love doing this, but like, I can't put. If I'm gonna put time and energy into something, like I'm making way more money in stock market right now than like I ever have. So like I'd rather put attention to that, like read up on stocks that I can invest in the next day, versus you know spending an hour writing twelve questions for fade the public when I get like all we get out of it is the the good feeling of doing a show that I like doing. Yeah, and, uh, and really the only thing which I is can... there's no price on that because it is a ton of fun. I mean, oh, I'm just saying it's a long term play. Like that's yeah, yeah. Like, like this will work out over it's a whole, you know, oh, three, four, that's, five years. That's it's a whole. why we have to have this talk because I believe in big dogs. I believe in everything that you're doing. and I want to be a part of it, but like we just have to. Some things need to change like in order I, for us to keep doing what we're doing because we just you know we feel like we're slaving away here and just not we want to see something in return. It doesn't even have to be money. It's just bad. like. Do you guys consider this a job? I do. So yeah. this is what I'm. This is what, I have two things for this. So not full time job, but, but no, 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 this no, a job, it's, right? So like any job, I, I would say I understand the tolls and the money. That makes sense because a that that's money that you guys shouldn't be paying if because like makes his value. He needs. He's telling you guys to come in here. That's Get very that. fair. Yeah. No but fair. with a job, sometimes it does take a commute, which I I think that's also but a, a job you get paid at. Yeah, but like I took like when you take a job too, you you see a value in it, right? So if he pay he pays the tolls, I think that takes at least one part of it out, right? And also I think with COVID, like I feel like if it wasn't for COVID, after filming, you guys wouldn't just go home. You guys would enjoy the city. Well, so it's I think different. that's an also situation. Sure. Too. Situation. So I think that yeah. that that does suck. Here's the thing though. Here here's the other thing I see from that is like I don't know if that's even true. No, the I don't feel. Well, I probably mm-hmm. wouldn't be able to afford to go out and like drink in the city. Not even like going out. It just feels like the excitement levels for doing shit are just very, very low. I will say in the, in the beginning, I think it was definitely at a high because it was when when shit first started. Started going. We were, we were summer, pumped. It felt yeah. like really yeah. fucking fun yeah, and exciting. We were and maybe it's a mixture of COVID and winter and shit like that. But like, but also maybe not. You know, like that's I'm not. I, sure. It, it could I'm easily sure. be a mixture of a whole bunch of different things. Like we're not. We don't have set incomes coming in. Just obviously. Many millions of Americans are out of work and whatnot, so that weighs on your mind too. And it's just like everything drags you down, drags you down. So it's just kind of almost like a—I don't want to say burden because it's not—it's not really like a burden. It's just uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Stevie? I don't know. We'll get back to the word. But I, it is—it's a mixture of a bunch of different things. Because I'm not a city. I'm not like I would definitely like to to go out and on the rare occasion of doing it. But it's you know. Yeah, I mean, I think that's... That probably has something to do with it, too. Like, I, I, I hate driving into the city to begin with. Yeah. You just have to do it for work, and... When I was working down... Yeah, I mean, it's shit. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I love fucking driving home from Brooklyn. No, of course not. No one likes the drive. No. That, that's as easy to say as humanly possible, so... Yeah, I get it. Um, yes. Yeah. I mean... Uh, I, I it, like, it's basically like you guys feel like you're sacrificing things from your end, and I'm not sacrificing from my end. Is that, is that kind of... Yeah, like, I feel like you know that we're working hard and everything, but then it's also like, you know, and then you chalk, chalk it up to like, yeah, I'm working hard too, but 
You're working for something, you know? I'm working for the long-term play of you guys having something there. Yeah, okay, so like, well, let's go into this then too, though. Obviously, like a lot of this is about money, but it's not about like us getting money. It's more of like, so like you make these videos, obviously like how much money the company made, right? I love those videos, they're awesome. I watch like every video you put out, almost every video, except for like maybe a dynasty one I don't care about. But like I'll watch almost every sure. video, especially the vlogs. You put out a video, you know, saying that, you know, the company makes $200,000, Obviously, there's expenses and everything like that. You paid 20000 in employee fees, obviously, you know, to, to Scott and Dr. Jesse Morris and whatever else. I mean, I think I got $850 this year out of twenty grand. Now, I'm not saying that you have to give me anything, but, like, we watch something like that, and then, you know, you also see the video, the last video from two years ago, where it was how much money the company made then, 2019 or whatever. There was a part where you were talking about how you know, if you, if you see someone and they, they show value, you want to reward them. Like, you're just like, I wake up sometimes, I'll send Noah $1,000 on Venmo. I never got that. Yeah, well, like, do here's, we not, here's like, the thing. Our problem is, like, do we feel like disrespect and that like, you don't value us at all? Like, you, you, you put out a video saying that about the other people that work. You're like, Noah and Mike are great, but, like, they don't commute. They don't do half the shit. Like, and Noah, I, Noah edits and busts his ass, and Noah should be the first full-time yeah. employee for sure. But that like, hard agree. Yeah. Did we start this in my basement? Thirteen thousand subscribers. Yeah. My thing with that is the value for them for money, them getting money, is because they they're directly bringing in money for me. Yes. Anyone that I pay, like Scott, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm paying him because he's doing the editing. Directly edits. But Doctor Morse, his stuff went straight into the I draft. Understood that. Yeah. Mike yeah. and Noah both directly, basically, did the Dynasty Draft Guide. Last year, which is and we'll do it this year something my thing is my thing is not like my thing is like not like i won't pay you but you have to show me that i value you guys obviously for the brand and for the long-term play but if i'm going to give you short-term money you need to be making money and this is not on me to put the product out there for you guys to do it like if you made a fucking cookbook and started doing it i would let you have the product Dude, like, that. i like that's your, your idea for us to make i'm not like a chef i'm not going to make a cookbook i'm not going to waste then what do you want to do i want to do like the shit that we're doing, but like, like you can't just be paid to make content and like you, no, 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 the, no. you know how small of a percentage of people get paid actually to See, make like just pure content. The problem is like you, you, I get it. You have to put dollars on things, but like I feel like you're you're not valuing the 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 loyalty and the brand that we've built. Like snacks and animals, FTP. Like I feel like the the brand loyalty and everything that we've grown, the growth from that. I feel like it's just like that's not true though. Yeah, you know, but that's how it feels. Is what we're saying. Okay. Like obviously it doesn't convert to dollars because we have an editor who edits the videos and everything is demonetized right away. Yeah, YouTube doesn't make a lot of money, but but that's what I'm we saying. We also don't plug any of the things like you have sponsors. We won't plug it on the show. Yeah, I'm the producer, but like I'm the Fugazi producer because I come in with a show sheet and then like you'll cancel three things on it. And it's like, dude, I wasted an hour putting together these questions. You just said, no, I don't want to do that. Well, that's... You the producer or not. When we're talking about the money, like, that is what I'm saying. Like, all of the money I've given to Scott has been strictly for Fade the Public. Like, that money is is far outweighs any money that I've paid anyone else in the company. Yeah, but, like, we're working on Fade the Public, too. Like, yeah, he's editing it, but, like, we are, we're coming in and out. We're doing all this. A lot of time goes into it behind the scenes. Like, you hand off the SD card, and I go home and upload it. Shit took fucking six hours the other day. I had to stay behind my computer and just wait for it to upload. Can't yeah, go and do anything. Yeah, that's not like. What do you mean? The ke the file kept uploads. The file kept canceling. Kept not kept being corrupted or whatever. Just wouldn't load and finally went through. All right. Well, that's like a nuance. Well, so I'm saying it's these little things that just like add up over time. Okay. So, what do you propose? I hold on before I see your thought. You have any thoughts? I see like your right, thoughts. He, he, he's, he's, he's just big. I mean, I have, he's a more articulate than me. I have other things because like I'll go. Ram I'll ramble for two uh, minutes and I'm. I I feel like I'm you know obviously not full time, but I feel like I'm a full time guy. Whereas like the amount of like behind the scenes stuff and just like talking to people and en engaging and and whatever between the brand and, and organizing stuff. I agree, but that's also part of like. But yeah, you can't put a dollar on that. I get that. That's part but of my the thing is like building your brand. Yeah, little things like, like I paid three hundred dollars a year for Adobe. Like only Noah uses it. Like why? I have two full time. I have two full time. So like why do I have one? Like I bought one. Two, not, well, no, I'm saying I bought one two years ago. We had everyone using it. Like you know about it's on the fucking the BDG login sheet. There's two, and both of them I pay for. No, no, no. I pay for one hundred percent. I have two on my payroll. Two full time ones. I have one, so like this is things. Bro, like, any any software, any of that shit, I will, 
I will pay for it. Yeah, but I didn't know you had a secondary one you were paying for, a third one you were paying yeah, for. Yeah, it's on the login sheet. We have two on there. Yeah, one of them's mine. It's it's my name and my login. It's the Adobe account that Noah uses. He's logged into it right now. Well, I have two of them. I didn't know you had a third one. I've had it for two years. So I'm saying so. Like the past two years, I spent six hundred dollars on Adobe. Like yeah, I started it for Ike, but like Ike edits for you too. Yeah. And like Noah's the only one. I'm paying three hundred dollars for Noah to edit right now. Noah doesn't edit anything for me. Okay. I'm not saying that's on you, but like these are things that like I I just do things like I'll buy samples or shirts and like just stupid shit. Like I'm all in. Yeah, I know that. You know. Yeah. I understand that. Um, I want to go back to the draft guide because, like you said, yeah, like that's the number one money maker for this company. Snacks and I were here. You didn't even ask us to like help, man. And like, and yeah, we're not dynasty guys, but like this brand isn't like an analytical like brand. Like you could have put like we like, could have, we could have our own. Well, I, I, our I, I did. Brand. I did once uh, to. To be honest with you, I don't think the contribution to the fantasy side is going to be anything that I can't handle by myself or Mike and Noah can't do dynasty-wise. And that's why we brought it up when I'm talking about the app, the whole lifestyle side of the shit you guys are going to be heavily involved in. Yeah, but like, our, we feel like you're giving us all this shit that doesn't make money so we're never going to have a chance where it's just like, Mike just comes in and you just hand him the draft guy. Like, we were already here for a year. Because he's like, I wrote animal that. analysis just to show you, like, I could write shit. Like, even if it's a fucking three sentence blurb like it fits the brand and i can also say well, we have we have said on record that we're not the numbers guys or anything like that but yeah we know I, that but i i could clearly but see that's what people pay for I, I understand that but i also see hundreds of people weekly asking us who to sit start we could have our own section whether they even read it or not i do think there is value in his it was, opinion it was, it's more of a point mine. that like, we weren't cons- we were already working through for a year we weren't considered at all to like we were doing a fantasy show together and like here comes Mike. And if that is the and if that is the case, if the we were money maker in the company. if we were to be involved in the draft guy, we wouldn't say we're like okay, we're not stack guy. We would actually sit down and do it because when and I love I asked you like what more could I do? I think I don't yeah. How many yeah, newsletters were we in? Forty. So how many months is that? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I'm I'm totally on. I I still stand by that. I love the newsletter. Love it. Talk about it all the time. I would do more than that too. And a draft guy's a good way or something else. I guess my point is what. I don't want to say like what more can we do because we've probably figured things out, but like end game wise, what do you think that we aren't doing that we could do that could help bring in more? Whether we see it in right now or in the long term, something that we could oh, a, we could dig our our feet into that we could really take off with outside of just coming in for an hour and doing that and me doing the newsletter on the weekend and touching it up Monday morning, stuff like that. Just something that you think would be good for us to, to dig our feet in and, and run because we're all ears. We, I don't, that's no, that's fair. That's fair. I think, um, in terms of like what I can give you, I guess this is almost my overall point. Like in terms of what I can give you in order to progress for where we are, I've given you about what I can, you know, it, it, it's almost, you know, and I'm not, I'm not trying to like pin everything back to Barcel, but the people who, you know, earn their money there and the people that like blow up there, they do yeah, they brought it themselves. Oh, yeah, of I mean? course. Yeah. I'm not saying you guys aren't good enough to do that, but like that that needs to be the case for it. And I'm trying to build a foundation for you guys to, to give yourselves a platform. And that's appreciated because our platform yeah. is ridiculous. Well, are you kidding me? Yeah, and it's only, can't, it's can't only gonna keep growing, obviously. Yeah, yeah. We'll, keep, we'll keep getting there. I just think maybe from a, that that's a fair point from the draft guy that I never asked you guys. And Yeah, I, it was more of like we just felt like like disrespectful. Yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're here. Like, like, like we, know we, we're not, we know we're not, we know we're not, Fantasy football yeah, savants, even though... We don't like, expect, like, you'd be like, hey, like, write up a full blurb on this guy. Like, no, but, like, a paragraph, like, animals analysis, where, like, what we, snacks what, pants you, like, five things about this player he likes. What like, we think so, about, know, like... Little things like that, that's, that still fits with the brand, and it doesn't, like, ruin anything because you still have all the good information in there, and then you have that side of the brand that everyone likes and enjoys. No, that's fair. You know? Um, did yeah, you guys and ask, It's a different... It's a different... Guys, it's a different dynamic. I just like to ask you guys... But did, like when the draft guide was getting formulated, where did you have anything where like, hey, I want you to put this in? I'm just like asking that part. No, were you no, just because mad at the fact that he'd ask you like, fuck that? Well, cause he, no, it was like they started doing the draft guide. I said like, no, no one might work on it. Yeah, we were like, oh okay. It was more so like it was more so because we started doing a specific dynasty show, and I was yeah. like, let's do a dynasty draft guide. You know, yeah. so I was like, they'll and that makes perfect that. sense. They run with that. I, I can understand. Like, and not to I can like, understand the dynasty aspect that yeah. they take that and run with it. As it's growing, Dimes is growing yearly, so that's huge. I, yeah, and, and not to be that. like, oh, no, I was going to, but like this year we we're probably going to do video player profiles for each like player. Yeah, we're yeah. Gonna, we're going to split it up that. between, we're going to split it up between like all five, six of the guys on the team and each of us do like 10 or 15 mm-hmm. of them. 
So you guys obviously would have been involved with that, but like I do understand where you're coming from on, on that end. Yeah, so. I mean, it's, these are all just like things that like just need to be said because if we don't say, and they're, they're nitpicky. We're not we're yeah. not sitting here like, all right, listen. Like we we want we want a check for a million dollars right now. We're walking out. We're never fucking doing yeah, that. Let's not do these things on purpose. I think it's just more like yeah. Obviously, you're busy. You got your hands full. You're doing a lot of shit. You've never. It's your first business. You know. Yeah. It's it's there's a lot. I get it. But like we also need to speak up a little more too, and obviously yeah. express how we feel because you know this shit wears on us. Yeah, I got you. That, that's all it is. I mean, um, as far as like the show goes. I think the show's gonna be fine. I think we'll be good. With yeah, I'm not worried about, about it. It was no, just like a little bit of a lull, and I think it. Right. Well, yeah, it was all from. Like, it, obviously, it, it, a lot was, of this. it was peak. I think like three weeks ago. I, I don't know if I was so annoyed in my life. We sat here for like four hours talking. Yeah, I mean, you guys are obviously talking stocks. And then we did the show, and it was shit. And then we left and sat in traffic for like an hour and a half. Yeah. So it's kind of just like time, time wise. Like let's maybe talk. We record Tuesday or Wednesday, usually, right? Comes out Friday. Mm-hmm. So maybe if there's a Monday, we sit down and we talk, whether it's Zoom or just text. What we want to do, and then we can sit here for thirty minutes. Come here, boom, 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 crisp, ready to go. I think that the overall quality of the show will be even better instead of coming here with nothing, bullshitting for two so hours. Like, the only problem with that, it's a good idea in theory, but we've tried to do like hundred. I know, but well, now, let's, but now, let's, let's make a meeting to. But now the, the cards, show, but now the cards are like on the table, kind of. Now we're all saying what we what we feel and what we think, and then if it doesn't happen, then that's really on us. That's on us. So it's kind of just putting. Yeah, the, three I think the together. other thing is too like. The way that our show was going in the summer when things were like buzzing and felt really good and felt, you know, like we were having such a good time making the show. Mm -hmm. It was like when the season was done, I felt like we could have got, we could get back into that and start doing shit like that. I understand it's difficult because it's winter, but like we could at least put a little bit of effort into making that stuff happen. You know? Yeah, I think also a lot of like, like you just like, season burnout was a big, yeah, right after this. That's that's definitely a real thing after, I, I don't know how you do it. Like, I still feel like just white. It's That's tough. A, a I'm, lot back, of I'm back things. to like seven pieces of content a week, like starting yeah. this upcoming week. So it's going to be tough for me again to do it. I guess my point was like burnout is very real and you do have stuff obviously going on on the side with Animal's House mm-hmm. and all that shit. But I'm like, this is for us, the way I'm looking at it obviously is like, this is one piece of content a week. Like I did scale back a little bit, like to four pieces of content a week, but for us it's one. So I'm like, okay, can we put that effort towards the one piece of content that is like the big foundation of your guys' personal brand from yeah. my channel mm-hmm. in a sense. And I'm like, you know, we have the meeting. You're like, oh, let's have the meeting Monday. Come in here, do a crisp Tuesday. I'm like, I almost like we say it, it, it's like we're losing. If, if if we look at it that way, where it's like we need shit to be concise, we're losing like the friendship aspect of what Faith the public the was, lifestyle was built part on. of it. Oh right. yeah, but yeah, to for, be, you know, for sure. But I, I, it could even be like 30 minutes of the show. Like when we talk, you do a segment, we'll do a um, parade or something. You know, hypothetically, that's just 30 minutes. The rest of the 30, we could shoot the shit and do exactly what we always do. That's fine. Yeah. I just think structure wise. Knowing going in what we're going to talk about as opposed to, you know, you scrolling, well, oh, this happened, this happened, just have kind of an idea. But no, I don't want to take anything away from our authenticity and our, the camaraderie that we have and have, have built. That, that's not my point. I'm just saying I don't want to waste like four hours doing nothing. It's kind of, kind yeah. of what I'm saying. We usually yeah. almost never do. That was just a No, no, no. I know. I know. I know. Well, no, there's it's been like... Not- there's been a good hand, like a handful of times this year where we've come, like got here at like noon, and like you were working on something else, or like on a call or something. We were just like sit there for like two hours, and like that's no, why it's like, never been two hours like that. Uh, if I'm sitting there doing work, it's like the first fifteen minutes you guys. No, 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 it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe you're not sitting there doing work for two hours, but we don't. We're not doing anything show wise until like two hours in. Which, but that that's never because I'm like, we guys, you have to wait two hours until I'm done with something. I mean, I don't have like a specific example, but there's definitely been a couple times where like you were working on a thumbnail, or just sitting there watching you work on a thumbnail. I feel like I maybe I, maybe I'm wrong. Trust maybe me, I know because in the car after we're talking about it, like, okay, and I mean, we're like we don't want to talk about it like that. We don't want to like be like, yo, why the fuck was Nick doing that? Like, we don't want to do that. That's why we're having no, this talk. Don't want to do that. You know, because and I mean, honestly, think it's just stuff that you don't realize. Like, it's I not guess, like. Yeah. We don't think you're doing it on purpose. Honestly, no, think you're just no. busy. Like, if I get this done right, now, we're not I can calling, save it and upload, and that's it. It's all done. And then we're we're not go I've always felt like I go, when you guys come in, I'm usually working on something, but I usually wrap it up within. I thought I wrapped it up within like 10, 10 minutes of you guys coming in. You guys need to settle down and shit, anyways. Yeah, but then like our thing is like we come and we want to start talking about the show, not wait an hour and then do it. Because then that's fair. The problem is what it ends. It tacks on at the end. And now we leave at five o'clock and then we sit in traffic. That's our like. That's why he's always in a rush to get out. He wants to leave before four. So we don't sit on the GW for, you know, 30 minutes. That fucking bridge. They gotta make it bigger, Stevie. And then, I, I, I'm getting everything out, so. Oh, bro. Um, I also have, well, this is kind of, I guess, a, a personal thing. 
and it's not bad. It's just sooner or later we're probably gonna have nine to fives. Yes. Like, and that's my other. That's concern. gonna be if this difficult. is if this is happening now with like the shit. What's gonna happen when I, you have bills? Well, I also think for me that's it's me looking ahead, and that's probably why I'm I've been annoyed. Not like annoyed, but just like. Well, you're trying to figure out how you're going to do this if you get a job. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if I'm working nine to five, even if yeah. it's from home, like I have to be stationary working. Like, like we're going to start coming in here at like six. Like at I mean, night. I feel like getting home at you know nine thirty. It's going to be it's going to be different. And I don't mind, like I don't mind doing it. It's just kind of something that that sits me. Like these things that we're talking about, we do have time. We're not saying we don't, but it's also like. I want to, I don't want to be dramatic like time is precious, but we could be doing more with the time that we have here and and just overall like that. So what were you saying, Steve? No, I was just like I get every, every part you're saying I get. Like I, I as me knowing Nick and how he is, he totally like if I tell him Nick give me a thousand dollars, he'd be like no. And then if I'm like Nick, can you buy me this TV that's thousand dollars? It's a no brainer. The <laughs> money to him is like two different things. Oh, it's for so sure. he doesn't, he doesn't Nick's realize that. More than that. Yeah. But also what I, the only part that I don't agree with you two is I understand right now like you guys are you know like you like you said you're going to get a 9 to 5 and the traffic and all that and I think that's just part of the game and I know it sucks but no one's telling you guys need to drive in. You guys could I I take the train. In. Like I, it's my day off I could just, like I'm not like I don't like even like I know I'm just starting Take with why and then walk from Penn Station here. In the I got a scooter. I I Uber. I mean, but he said he's paying your expenses. So yeah, yeah well then we just drive in. This, you know. But then like, but complain about like traffic and like you have to come later. Like there was time like the first four episodes I had to come after work and my job ends at seven and I start I go to work at eight. And then I'm not getting home till 10 or at 9 and then going to work again the next day. And it's just like, because I want to do this. And I know. Well, like, you're going I, I'll, to that job that you have a full-time salary at. So that you yeah, have but I mean, I'm, but I'm not incentive. doing but the, this. But this has no incentive for me. Like, I'm doing why yelling because, like, hey, Nick asked and I thought it was a good outlet. But there's no, like, monetary. Like, I'm not looking for any incentive on this. I'm saying, though, I'm like, oh, but I have to come to his to this because this is where Nick lives and this is where I'm going to come. Like, it's just like part of the game. I get the monetary part. I, that's why I'm, I agree with you yeah. on that. But like the commute and then you sitting in traffic, I think that's just like part of the game that you guys have to play because this is why the studio was built here. We're you know, also we're also in a, in a time where, I mean, we, we live at home. We live with people that yeah. are old and shit like that. Yeah. If I'm telling weekly I'm going on a train and I'm going into, into, into the junction and, and all this shit like that, that's, I'm going to get fucking ridiculed off the ass too. Like I, I don't I haven't yeah. been on a train and I can't tell you how long. I, I, mean, I listen, I know, I know. It's yeah. it's a bullshit point dude, and dude, it's not I'm not trying to make it. I see them every week. Yeah, but you would you go out while your dad works on the train? Yeah, like so I don't, my parents are both at home. No, I get it. I they mean, don't leave the house. But I get tested weekly just so I can make sure I'm okay. Oh yeah, I get I get I get tested so, I mean, on like, I, it's just it's the principle of kind of I don't want to hear. I don't but like it's one less burden that I need. I get it. I'm just saying like I I've been taking train since June coming in here. And it's not crowded. It's not like well, of course it's not going to be crowded. So I'm just saying, like I know, like the I, I don't think the commute and you guys coming in here has merit if he's going to pay for the um, the tolls and the parking and whatnot because this is just a sacrifice you guys have to do because if you guys want to do it. Well, I mean, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. Not like the, I mean, it, it's I mean, pretty much bringing it out. Toll, to tolls is fifteen. Coming into no, the city, it's like one tolls, day. That whole thing could like, it's one I feel day. like a tolls simple, are fifteen dollars. A train there and back. Is I think text it's from you guys, yeah, like at the beginning of the year last year, just been like, do you, do you mind paying for the tolls? That and I agree. Like, we we should like our point is like we don't feel like we should have like we'd want you to like. Just do that. Like you value us coming in, like hey guys, I'll pay for your toll. And it's also t- no, it's okay. Be- we were paying twenty dollars for parking. Like you, you knew we were waking if up you, at seven a.m. to move the car. And see, if you think about it, it's also the same. It's going to be the same thing between if say he drives one week, that's fifteen dollars in tolls, and say like just ten extra for, for gas or something. That's twenty five. You're spending twenty dollars there and back on a train. So it's pretty much the same thing. If you think about it, yeah, the car. You, where, like no, I'm saying if Nick, I, it would be. For, now Nick knows. For, for Nick, one, one style of yeah, commuting, yeah. Just, it's only one of them. Like if you're driving two weeks in a row, boom, you you can get your expense there. I don't get shit, yeah. or vice versa. But if we both take the train, that's that's weekly. That's like forty forty five bucks. That, you know that'll that'll add up more than I think. Yeah, no, I was just saying. I, I, I get what you're like, saying in the sense of if you we take the, done that from the start. If you take the money out of it, I, I think. Yeah. Just no, I, saying I, I, you I, have I, to come I, to the city once I, a week it isn't really a uh, big. Uh, I, I, I know. I get that. No, wait, that's not. Ah. All right, let's bookmark that. What else we got? Anything else? Uh, uh, well, I'm shaping, so that. 
I mean, that's kind of the crux. Um, let me see. I'm all over the place here. Should have went in order. Oh, uh, because well, we something else came up, and I, you know, bring it up. Here, here's 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 what I'll say. Yeah, I mean, if you have anything to say, actually, it's play. I, I want to try to put in perspective the way I see things and the way I value guys is like. This is obviously a tough time of the year, so I'm not surprised shit like this is gonna happen and we're gonna need to have conversations like this. Yeah. And, you know, I always say like, oh, we're, you know, building you guys up long-term and helping you build your and personal know, brand. Yeah, and like, I, you know, I just say it so often that it's almost like it loses its 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 merit at a point. And I, I get that too, because if I was in your end, I'd be like, okay, well, that only works for so far, you know, that only yeah, like yeah, pushes me like so the far. The platform's already built almost now to just grow, like. Right. Yeah, it's I, grow, it's I growth now. Yeah. The, the way I look at it is like, I I am sacrifice like I could basically I could pull you know if I wanted to pull two big heads off Twitter and have them start their own dynasty show on my channel and take the one spot a week that we're on I could do that and we'd probably make you know 50% more money on the draft guide this year because people love the info from them or whatever mm -hmm. and pull that shit in yeah. so I'm not gonna say we're losing money by having you guys on because that's not the way I look at it whatsoever I'm just saying like the way I value building you guys up long term and the way I value the branding of Fade the Public as part of BDGE, I also look at those other things and I'm like, oh, this is what we could be doing, but I would never, I would never seriously consider that as a, as a, as an avenue. You know what I'm saying? Like I can bring on people that like people that, that I know will convert into like fantasy cash. Yes. You know what I mean? Like well, I know people I, in the industry already that you can just put under the BDG umbrella and, and have them just plug the draft guide every yes. single week when they're getting 15 K view, whatever. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's, that's kind of like another way I'm looking at the way we're building this. And obviously that's part of like the big dog's brand is like, we want to have the personal touch and the lifestyle touch of it. And like you right. guys are basically the foundation of that, you know, that's kind of our point. And we, so, and we believe that and we appreciate it. it, 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 it doesn't go to, like on yeah. There's no dollar to put on right. that part of the this brand. Is, you hear it guys? I don't think so. It was here. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely moment. Moment. So we get it that that makes it tricky. But then like, you know, going back to like, we feel like we don't have any opportunities okay. and you see, you know, say like make your own, but like, you know, we're doing fade the public. The short-term right opportunities are very tough for you guys. I understand. Yeah, that. yeah, for sure. But I think like the I think the ceiling and the long-term opportunities will. Well, that's why we're having this be conversation right. because I don't want like, I want to be a part of this. I I know. Yeah, I, and you know, that's, that's, that's exactly why we want Dude. we want to talk about it now as opposed to like you text say me saying we get, we get to want to do a podcast. I said I got a fucking room like yeah. right away. I was, I was in. Oh, it's so pumped. Yeah, and we and we want to have this now because come you know June when we get past this fucking this miserable stretch that is like no football, nothing really to like construe. We don't want to be in the summer like fuck this and just be like, nope, stop the show. So I'm um, Yeah, this is why we're, 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 we're coming we're now. We're not, where like, we're not sitting here we have fucking go in. Like, we will still be here every week, whatever whatever has to be done. We're just kinda looking for like an outlet or an outlook into the future, I guess. But what short term things can be changed now that would help? But like that can help you be okay. Like you know what I mean? Like, because you're at a point where I could see that this is like a big thing, but what short term things right now can you- Well, I can have a bag of Doritos on my chair every time I get here. <laughs> could we do, could we do- no, <clears throat> That's a good, I'm, it's a good I'm, question. I'm, I'm it's a good not, question. I'm not, short term is not really, I'm sorry, right, go ahead. Yeah. I'm not, not something I, th I thought I would honestly compromise on, I'm, and I'm not really like, and this is not a big compensation thing, obviously, but here, why don't we do something like this if you guys are okay with it? I know it's again not not a big thing. I'll obviously I'll pay for any commuting shit you need. Any whatever you have on your bill right now that's for big dogs, let me know, and obviously I'll take care of that. Even prorating it back to Adobe and shit. Um, we could do some kind of like weekly compensation as well. It's not going to be big, but like maybe over the course of the year, it kind of adds up and pays a few. We don't even want anything, dude. That's, to I, be honest, like from the start, like we never even wanted. We literally just wanted. I know, like, I know you don't, but, but I'm saying now it might. Was like, it? We brought we, not not even for incentive to keep doing the show, just as yeah, like to help you guys out because you guys don't have jobs. So like I'm talking like small, like almost like fifty dollars a week for each of you. Dude, we, it's more than we were even thinking. <laughs> How low were you guys gonna Dude, go? We wanted like, hundred bucks, bucks a month. Hundred bucks a month. Hundred bucks a month is all we wanted. So fifty a week. Yeah, fifty like a week for each of you. I'll pay for the commuting shit and 
and hopefully that could like honestly if you're giving us that like we'll take the commute out of it I don't yeah know that's, i don't know it's fine fun. like that i don't like, like i said like money is not the thing like i the money is just a path to make sure that we are on you know like good and, standing. The, and the money when we when we talk about it it was never like the end all be all at all like there's not no, something i know you guys that, haven't mentioned it too no, and it's the thing. Like, we never once asked for anything, so that's I'm aware. Yeah, and we don't. We don't. I, I don't like asking people for shit. No, it's, it's very. That's how I am for everything. Like, dude, George owes me thirty dollars for fucking uh, golf that one day when we played. Still? Like, nope. Yeah, I just never asked for it. Well, George, want, see it here. I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, he's like, watching. You got that thirty bucks watching. from the golf game? Yeah. Like, no, I get. It. Like, I feel like how I. I mean, me, Iz has called me before. I've talked to you. Obviously, we vented. I mean, I. I knew where you were at because. Just yeah, in general, it's, it's just I think it comes to a point where you guys need to be vocal because Nick has blind. Nick's a horse that's about to race. He has mm-hmm. blinders on. That's why he doesn't see it. And I know you guys. One of the biggest things I appreciate about. I guess you guys that. don't like. Obviously, it's not about the money, but there's a lot of outside noise probably, and like during situationally. That's, uh, that's another yeah, thing. Outside okay. noise gets in your head, yeah. and then also for sure. Just, like, I got um, fucking people asking me yeah. like, "Are you getting paid?" And he's like, "You know, yeah, you know." Like, they don't pay you. What the fuck? And I try to tell him like, "Listen, it's it's." You can even put it in the stats. Like, yeah, right. long you guys, long if you guys goal. want something, you got to talk to me. And For just, sure. And just know that I'm always trying to have the, your long-term best interest at heart. We yeah, never, I never we, thought for a second, like, okay, these guys are going to come in here to do the show. They're going to help me. Fuck them. Of course not. That's not at all what... what I don't think you thought that. No, we, we know we know like we your long-term most term vision. To just being like oblivious. Like, that's, <laughs> like, was the best way we could put it? Like, yeah. Just the smartest, dumbest person ever. Well, yeah, exactly. Like... So I'm saying, like, I watch every video, like, I know, like, you mean well and everything, but, like, tunnel vision, I think, just kind of... Yeah, it does. And I, think, and I think with everything going on, how much you do, I, that's completely understandable, and we've all been friends for, like, 20 fucking years, so it's kind of, you know, easy to miss. Well, I don't, no, I've not taught... You have no relevancy. This is happening because of me. We have I'm we the most relevant person. You are not my friend. I'm not. I'm saying we've all been friends. But yeah, that's. You know. How do you feel I love what we do. I, I, I mean, it's good. I honestly feel good. Because I love. I love what like we do, stuff, and I don't like, want to stop doing. It. Snacks and I would talk about this, and we would feel like guilty. So, like, <laughs> do we feel like that's fair? Basically, I think it's that's more than fair. Honestly, fair, like, we we well, never wanted. I wasn't wanted expecting more, that. That's fine. You know, like Nothing. that was really. Yeah, we should have spoke up, but we've kind of figured, and we might have actually jumped the gun on this, maybe. But we got our kind of thing was like we were gonna wait till the season was over and see what happened, yeah. and then like. I know the Monkey Knife fight deal was ending in the Super Bowl. I know, like, you know, that's when you finally, you'll know, like, what you actually get from them. So, like, we were thinking, like, maybe that would be, like, when we get, like, something or whatever. So, like, that was probably, maybe we should have waited an extra week, but I guess it couldn't because we were, you know, yeah, not coming it, in and everything like that. We just wanted to get it out of the way. Well, I think it was also a good timing with you guys talking about it on, on your podcast, too. It kind of just hit us, like, all right, if we're going to, if we're going to, well, yeah, if we're going to say something, Let's just fucking say it. It's not. It's not going to deteriorate the show. I don't think, in my opinion, it's just. Nah. It's all concerns and stuff that we all know. Nah, my shit had nothing just to do with the actual show. I, no, I, no, I, no, I have no, no doubts about like fade the public being fine after a month or so. We hit a blip and we'll get back. Oh yeah, absolutely. Issues. I completely agree with that. It's just like I, I could just feel this this pull of energy coming off of it, mm-hmm. and yeah. I was like, if we let this dive too far, we're gonna then we're gonna lose it. We're gonna have yeah. some serious problems. We're gonna lose it, and that's and that's why I there think were like definitely bigger this came this came at the right time because. We have, uh, like, I thought we did a live stream last Friday, which I actually thought was pretty good because we... The content's been fine, but, like, it, I'm not okay with that. No, fine's not good. The shit that we have put out before and the shit that people love from our standards has been bleak. Pretty bad. So, well, yeah. I mean, and I, I think it's... I think it's never the same when you're doing a live, like, stream versus... I'm person. not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even so much just talking about the two live streams, so I'm talking about, you know... But the, it was just a month period. It was, like... It was it was the live streams. It was the uh, it was even the episode that we did when we were sitting here for hours or whatever. Then it was yeah. a shit episode. And right. then it was just like you know, it was every week. It was just like we were just pushing shit back and we were like not preparing at all for it, and right. not having anything going. I was like, if we just continue to let this go down this slippery slope, it's going to become the president for how we move forward on yeah. that shit. You know, and we we cannot have that. And I told like I, I I told you I was like I will help you put a show sheet together. Anything we'll we can come up with. 50 fucking ideas, whatever the case, run it by, whatever. So I, yeah, that's fine. I, I would like to, is um, that a bigger problem for you than you actually let on that? Like you put together the show sheets and then I would like to be like 
full control of like the actual show, like not like like dictator control, but like if I'm gonna be working on this shit, like you know, sun, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or the show, the sheet, and then coming on Tuesday, like whatever I have plans, like what I want to do, and if it sucks, then it sucks. We, we go to the next week, but like I don't, I think it, it throws me off when I come in with a plan and like we want to change things like two hours before we film, and like now I don't know what we're doing. Like I'm, you know, I'm like a, I'm a calculated person where it may not seem like it, but like I like to have everything ready to go, set up. I know what I'm doing, and then just execute on it. That's it. Okay. So like coming in, and then like, I would like to still continue the way we do it, where you know the what's cracking. You you're basically doing the intro, but then I would like to lead the show as in like, there's so much shit that we didn't plug this year that I would like to plug. Like Monkey Knife, I should have been plugged every episode, yeah. and like that's not all of us because like I'm not thinking about it because like it's not something that like like if I push like this many sales, like you know we can hit this bonus like. That's something that you should like be on us about. Like guys, like yeah. we really need to push Monkey Knife Fight because we'll get a bonus, you know, or or we really need to like plug Manscaped again, or we need to actually make an ad. Like we gotta be more attentive like, to those kind of things. Be more sure. like a real company, you know, whether or not you like that about nah. it or not. Like and you, the, you yeah, get that, that wasn't necessarily you know? for Fade the Public. Either. There's I probably left the Monkey Knife Fight shit. I should. Oh no, you did it for everything. I'm saying like there's you could you should have. Pounded that shit all yeah, year. Yeah, for my videos, like I would leave it out like half the time back. Yeah, like, even like, like, like plug it in. I'm like, there like a, leaving like five hundred dollars on the table. Yeah, there should have been a monkey knife fight play of the week in every newsletter. Yeah, like little things like that. I didn't even think about that till the other day. I didn't think about it till right now. Yeah, like it's just like one of those things. Like, yeah, all right, yeah. No, it's like, we've we've I mean we've had that shit before too. Like we've been like let's we need to make a commercial for it, and I kind of feel like it just it, like that. that I, I feel like that is also a uh, bigger picture. Not problem, but like what I'm kind of referring to in terms of like lack of, lack of uh, maybe passion for it. Like I feel like when we first started, if we had an idea like yo, let's do like a commercial for the Monkey Knife Fight shit, like I would I would be excited. I'm like this is gonna be fun as shit. Yeah. Now it's like we get here. I'm like oh I want to do a skit for this. It's just like uh, like do we have to or like you know we've got to film the episode. It's like do we do it before or after? One of them is gonna suffer because we spend the energy on the first thing first. You know like yeah. that's that's where I feel like a lot of energy is being zapped from. And I'm like. I don't know if it's I, I don't know what the case is from it, but like, do you guys feel that way too? I can, uh, I can see. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I know what you're saying. saying but not so yeah. much like for like skip her. So do you, do really you guys need me to be more concrete with this shit? Like, need me to tell you like this is what we need to get done, and I'm, I'm like fucking very serious about it. Because I I go like lean in on it, and then I'm like, oh, you know, if it happens, it happens. Whatever. It's not like make or break, obviously. But I could be more serious and like get fucking angry about it. Yeah, some, so of this shit, some of this shit does piss me off, but I just like forget to bring it up. Problems mm -hmm. with stuff like skits is like. It, sometimes I think in order to film like a skit and an episode in one day is like just like too much. Like yeah, that's like a ten hour day. Yeah, yeah. Like that's like remember the, the award show that was like a full work day. Yeah, like running around everything like a skit like a three minute scene could take three hours. So like that's fine. But then we got to film a podcast after, and then it's not the same as like yo come back tomorrow we'll do it. But like then we got to come back in. Yeah, you know, and then we got other shit to do. It's just it's tough. See but that that that's the thing. Like I don't I don't I don't think that like that. Four hours of, of work in the day, like it should be fun work though. Oh, it is, dude. I love coming here. Yeah, that. that's like, that's what I mean. Like, if, last if we were to do no one's saying it's not fun. Yeah, yeah, of course. There's gonna be dull spots that I'm like, I'm not enjoying it either. But right. like, if I'm like, okay, we need to do this and the episode for the day, it's gonna take like three and a half, four hours. Like, I'm not looking at it like, oh fuck, we have to do work four hours. I'm like, okay, we get to like. Well, hang I, see, out and like, I, 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 don't, I think, you know I mean? think up front, if I knew, if I knew, all right, and if we had an idea like a monkey night fight skit, let's talk about it before we come in and sit, say it may take an hour and a half and then we have to film I think mindset wise me coming in here knowing exactly what we're going to do and have to do is different than coming in and trying to talk about a skit for an hour That's and great. then being dragged in or being you know worn down by by talking about it and then doing it and then the podcast so like if I come in knowing like you said you're a calculated person if we know exactly what's coming in going down and that we're going to be here five hours it's it's a different mind. It's, your mindset's a, different. If we have a skit that we are all I gotta in like agreement that we're gonna script. work on and do, I'll write the script and come in and be ready to go, like we did with the commercial. Like I had it word for word written out, ready to go. But like, yeah, like we have to actually agree to do something. We, you know, like you said, like we'll talk about like three different skits and then just not do any of them. So then that's all. That falls on all of us because we are not, we're not executing. It's a little more organization, I guess. Will probably bring more effort behind it. For sure. And then I think one day a week is a big. It's a big like to try and get a lot of this content done in one day. It's, it's a big task because yeah. well, that's like the work day. Yeah, that's fine, but like I still don't think it's always doable to come in like come well, in. I mean, more often than not, we're not doing that. More often than not, we're just doing the podcast. Yeah, 
Recently, yeah. So every once exactly. in a while. Not not really recently. I mean, I mean like, we didn't really do vlogs during the season because it's just yeah. there's there's enough content we don't need it. But most of the vlogs, it's honestly, season. like most of the vlogs are like most of the shit that we've just been if we're like hanging out for an hour before we do the episode mm -hmm. if we just turn the camera on most of those can be turned oh around. yeah oh, for sure. Sure. we for just sure. like don't we just like forget to do that or just mm -hmm. don't do that and we're just like oh this, that would be stupid anyways but like looking back on it most of that shit like, we can come we can come in with vlog ideas and if we really don't have them we don't need to set one every week no. like you just said if we just turn the camera so on bullshit. Us talking is i did this on the weekend i i blacked out and passed out in my jeans and I have a rash on my ball. Just anything. It's, it's just, just like shooting the fucking. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Like we don't need a set vlog or anything like that. And that's fine. We'll come in that's here. Fine. We'll bullshit for an hour. We'll talk. It'll be on video. Mm -hmm. Then we do a podcast. We're all hyped up already because usually our, our conversations are pretty loud, obnoxious, and you know, energetic. And then you go right into the podcast. Boom. Energy there. As opposed to coming in, lackadaisical, blah blah blah, blah not knowing what we're gonna do, and then trying to do it. So I just think some kind of set structure or what not knowledge of what we're gonna come in and do would make a vast difference, mindset wise. That's, that's that makes fair. sense. No, it that's makes fair. sense. Yeah. Just like no, like okay, all right, we're talking, we're we're talking Monday, Max. We're gonna we're gonna go in 11 a.m. and we'll we have to do a skit for Monkey Knife Fight. This is what we're gonna do. Let's let's come in. We'll do it. We can discuss it a little bit before, and then we'll do it. And we have the podcast right after. It could be a five-hour day. Fine. I know what I'm getting into. I'm not going to be sitting there by hour if, three and like. I don't care if it's an eight-hour day or ten. Yeah, hour yeah. Day. I'm, I'm just, I'm just. I look at like I said, like I look at it as a work, as a work day. day. Right. We work. That's right. fine. But, like, I mean, why would we cover everything? Really, it's. You know, it's that we just didn't want to be paying to come and do it, which we covered. So I mean, fair. Um, and that was about it. It's. That was whatever. I thought it was good talk. What do you think, Steve? I think you guys all had uh, your fair things like worse than Bobby. You feel better? Right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cause we don't want to talk. Like I, I, we touched on it. I've talked. We, me and Max have talked. I almost talked about it. I think you guys need to be more. We need vocal, to be more absolutely. He right. just needs to listen, but also it's gonna be if this is how it's gonna be moving forward. You guys also need to be accountable as much as him. Like if this is what you want structure. You can't say you're gonna be ready at two thirty and then come at four thirty. No, no. And then if you, but if you need something from him, you need to tell him, and you need to make sure he's accountable. Like, hey, I want to do this draft guy, or like you need to. Know, he needs to know your value. Dude, it's a three way. Like, it's a three way yeah. street, and I think for this show, I mean, obviously, it's, it's all tricky. It all, it's all under Nick's umbrella, right? But I think we all have almost equal say, so to say, so to speak. Like I, I look at it as, as our show. Under under oh, yeah. umbrella where we need to have more of a voice. Absolutely, I, I think I, it's a, it's just tough when it comes to friendships before business when it becomes. Well, we're not friends anymore in business, it. but uh, I think you guys need to have the friendship in um, this business because that's why people love you guys. That's when you. That's why they come yeah, to they love you. Love So therefore, without you guys showing the friendship, and you guys need these talks more. This this is two years too long, you know. And this shit, like you've told me, I've told you to speak up. I didn't want to be the one speaking up because I had no say in this. But that's what. You guys don't forget, you yeah. guys are friends from the beginning, so therefore, these aren't hard conversations because these are conversations that need to be needed for this uh, channel to grow. And that's what, at the end of the day. So, like I said, you guys, let's be females. Let's do this. Let's, let's talk about it. Let's and be what? This is how you're going to do it. Right? Yeah. Let's talk. Yeah, I, we'll try to act. Be a man, don't talk about your problems. Yeah, that's like <laughs> really what we learned and was the worst thing ever. So... No, it's it was that it was definitely needed a long time coming for sure, and it wasn't it, like we said it was never like about getting money or anything like that. It was just a bunch of different feelings that we thought, and I think we uh, and also fuck the people that run your ears, fuck them, fuck you guys, not you, but the oh, people that, 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 that that's not really like bothers them to us. We don't yeah. we don't really care. It bothers me. It's like it's one of those things where I've always. I, I, I think it's a jealousy thing too. Oh, I don't yeah. care. There's I not. Know, there's no doubt. I know the value not. in the long term, but it's just saying. You know, sometimes you just need a little, little something to keep going. Well, reassurance. Like that's it. That's all. That's it. Why don't you guys do a hug? A nice Corona hug. Yeah. How about Let's I see, make? Guys. How about I make this shot? What about a hug? <laughs> what about a hug? All right. That's good. Now I feel like, I, I feel I feel fucking we, ready to we roll. We could do it. We could do a hug. I don't want Steve. We could do a family hug. I don't want him in here. Come I'm here. on. I'm on. Oh. <laughs> I'm on my knees. I love you guys. I love you guys. Except Steve. Why am I getting? 
Okay. Okay, so we're good. Do you guys say anything after? Yeah, no, we, we so I mean, that was like a... Um, Go use... You can still use monkey knife on basketball. Actually, no, we're do our contract yeah, was done, so that don't. Was some real don't behind use. the scenes shit. Yeah, that was some uh, the the fucking realist.